What would happen if we nuked the moon? Nuclear weaponry was designed by humanity to cause as much destruction as possible. We humans are quite the freaks, aren't we? Every day, we humans try to discover new phenomena, but in our attempts to do so, we destroy nature and end up harming ourselves. One such idea generated by the human brain is nuking the moon. Let's get into the details of what would happen if we nuked the moon. You are watching Explained Earth, and today we'll be discussing what would happen if we decided to nuke the moon. Moon as a military base. In 1959, Project Horizon was proposed by the US Army. Project Horizon shall be a military outpost which would serve the purposes of exploring the moon and further space by building a self-sustained moon base. Upon the generation of this idea, the scientists and technicians attached to this project stated that the approach to this project would be based on realistic capabilities and requirements. Project Horizon would be a reliable approach with the confidence of survival. No atmosphere on the moon gave a suggestion to cover the holes and caves with pressure bags and create living spaces. Project Horizon had a vision for soldiers on the moon. 252 men would be placed in Earth's orbit, with 42 having their duty tours on the moon. But what was the actual motive for developing this military base far away from the Earth? The reason was for the US to gain an upper hand against the Soviet Union in the Cold War. The US, with the raw materials on the moon, would gain power not only on Earth, but also in outer space. With moon-based weapons, the US could successfully protect its advantageous position in both worlds. This study to establish an army outpost on the moon was encouraged due to the launch of the Sputnik satellite by the Russians on October 4, 1957. The Russians had already pulled the United States and its allies into the Cold War, presenting a danger to the powerful country. To take a leap into the space race, the United States devised the studies and experiments that would forever protect them from any harm and danger. However, this concept of a military base on the moon didn't go anywhere back then. But then again, recently humans have been advancing to reach and explore outer space more and more. Thus, the possibility of nuking the moon has arisen once again. What would happen? The explosion would act as a wave of air on the moon's orbit, but it would substantially damage a large area on the moon, causing fires to spread for miles, with winds capable of shattering glass at 560 miles per hour. Crazy stuff, I know. The US actually considered nuking the moon with a Hiroshima-sized explosion. As intense as that sounds, even if all the nukes combined detonated on the moon, it would only create a decent-sized crater on its surface. But I suppose not nuking the moon is the far more appropriate and intellectual approach to this situation, and I do believe that humans should abide by it. There is no way such energy and radiation released from such an explosion does not harm our atmosphere. The actual estimated safe space for such a detonation would be around 3 light years, which exceeds the entire solar system. Nuclear weapons do not just threaten the cosmic balance of the Earth, they also threaten to harm the poor creatures of this planet. Compared to this cosmic world, we are too tiny to produce or even make an attempt that could totally harm the forces of nature, the solar system and beyond. Now, for a moment, let's sideline all the facts that have been presented and work on this hypothesis with more assumptions. So suppose that we are at a point in time where we did actually nuke the moon. Hooray! Well, actually not hooray. Nuclear bombs are bad. Very bad. Alright, so let's assume we somehow managed to nuke the moon. What happens then? Does it fall out of orbit? Or will the moon simply break in half? As cool as that sounds, reality will beg to differ. Nuclear weapons are not equipped with enough power to break the moon in two. Yeah, some of you might think, well, why not? It's certainly very small, and there should be substantial damage to it, if not breaking in half. Again, folks, the moon would not feel a thing. It's like an ant trying to climb up your leg. You would only feel it a bit, that's all. And to think that it would fall off its orbit just because we decide to nuke it would be the joke of the century. So, let's talk about a few things that would happen if we actually did nuke the moon. What would be the long-term effects on the moon and its environment? One could easily assume that a nuclear explosion on the moon would cause catastrophic destruction. But what would be the long-term effects on the moon and its environment? Okay, hold on guys. How about hitting the subscribe button to the channel that brings you the most interesting and terrific occurrences happening all around us. Subscribe and you might just get some ideas yourself on how to experiment on and explore the atmosphere. But going back to the actual environmental impacts, it all depends on the size of the bomb and the distance from its impact zone. If we drop a small one on its surface, most of the energy would be absorbed by the lunar soil, leading to little damage. 
On a larger scale, however, a more powerful bomb could result in significant environmental impacts, such as a crater formation and instability of existing structures. In addition to that, radiation leaking into space could potentially reach Earth if not contained. In hindsight, a nuclear attack on the moon is obviously not without consequences. Although it might seem like a funny prank idea at first, there are some serious implications we must consider before pressing that button. How could this affect other planets in our solar system? It could have a huge impact not just on the moon, but also on other planets in our solar system. If the nuclear bomb was powerful enough, it could send out shock waves that might disturb or even knock planets out of orbit. The resulting waves and particles might also affect any satellites orbiting other planets such as Mars or Earth. In a weird sci-fi-esque way, this could mean that some of the space debris from our moon assault could end up in different parts of our solar system, causing more chaos and destruction than intended. Could debris from the moon's destruction reach Earth? Could any of the debris from its destruction reach Earth? Well, no matter what the size of the nuke is, the moon is still quite a distance away. About 384,400 kilometers or 239,000 miles which is about 30 times further than the International Space Station. So unless you had a really strong catapult to launch your bomb that far out into space, we can safely say no debris would reach us. It would be pretty fascinating, however, to witness this from afar in our night sky. But since one of the side effects of nuclear explosions is massive amounts of radiation, which is not particularly helpful for humans, we'll probably stick to more peaceful methods for our moon explorations. Would a lunar nuking change the tides of our oceans? The moon exerts a gravitational pull on Earth's oceans, which causes them to rise and fall with the tides. A massive explosion, like a nuclear weapon, would have an enormous effect on this pull, potentially having serious consequences for oceanic ecosystems. It's likely that such an event would cause sea levels to change drastically, leading to unpredictable coastal floodings and disruption of sea life habitats. But who knows, maybe we'll just create some real cool-looking tsunami waves. Best not to risk it, though. How does nuclear proliferation on Earth compare to a potential lunar threat? It might seem like a crazy idea, but it's not as far-fetched as you might think. It turns out that while nuclear proliferation on Earth is a serious concern, the potential threat of a lunar explosion is small by comparison. An explosion on our nearest celestial neighbor would be significantly less powerful than an atomic bomb detonated on our planet. That's because the moon has no atmosphere to trap particles or contain heat and radiation, which means that much of the energy released by a bomb would dissipate quickly into space. In other words, while it's important to keep nuclear weapons away from the Earth, there's no need to worry about potential bombs aimed at the moon. So go ahead, throw those paper airplanes and send your prayers. That being said, it is all definitely a bit too far-fetched. No country on the Earth would dare to nuke the moon simply because it's too much of a risk for themselves as well. Until or unless we discover an alien race or they discover us, and they decide that humanity is a waste of a civilization, then there are chances that we can actually lose the moon. But till then, don't you worry guys, our favorite moon is going to stay as it is. Even if some countries decide to nuke it, nothing is going to change except for, you know, the little things like War on Earth, World War 3, and other such unimportant things. <laughs> And that brings us to the ending of today's video. If you want to know more about our Earth and the universe surrounding it, subscribe to Explained Earth, and we will tell you all about it. Tune in next week to learn all about it.